Well, the south of Singapore was most affected by the haze for much of the day, as we mentioned. And El Fresco restaurants in the area say that it has taken a toll, with some reporting up to a 50% decrease in the number of customers. Vanessa Lim tells us more. From where I'm standing, which is just across Sentosa, the haze doesn't seem that bad. But as I walk, you can start to see just how poor visibility is. Now that over there is Sentosa, and you can see that the details aren't that clear. Now the southern part of Singapore is the worst hit with PSI reading and PM 2.5 reading being the highest in Singapore. While some seem to be unfazed by the haze, Restaurants in the area, particularly those offering al fresco dining, have taken a hit. Business has been down by about 50%, especially for the outdoor seating, and we can't much, pretty much can't put more guests inside and cannot increase the number of tables inside because of the limited space. It's been pretty bad. This restaurant is trying to keep the haze out. Despite this, it says the number of customers has fallen by 30% since the haze started. The haze is too much that inside will still, you know, can smell the haze and everything. So a lot of guests requested, like, oh, I don't want to sit over here near the panel and everything. And normally our outdoor is the most popular, but now since the haze is being so bad and everyone requested to be inside. One expert says the southern and western parts are hit harder because of wind direction and also how particles spread. The winds would push the particles around. But you can imagine that even when there is no wind, a high concentration of particles would still spread outwards. That's the phenomenon of uh, diffusion. Over the last few days, the concentrations uh, line up in such a way that uh, the west and south of Singapore witnessed higher concentration of PM2.5 than uh, further north and east. NEA says Singapore may continue to experience hazy conditions over the next few days.